Hi guys! Hi! We finished filming our fish tacos with fresh salsa recipe. Mmm, I can't wait to try it. We're hungry. We've been waiting like for Joe to finish taking all the pictures so that we could finally eat. These are our actual beauty plates. This is real life food styling because there's nothing on it that's weird. We can actually just eat it now. But don't mind us. We're gonna have a little lunch. It's a little late lunch actually. Three o'clock. Last time, I don't know if you saw our last behind the scenes where we were like all exhausted and flustered. That's exactly the time we started filming because there was so much going on and I didn't prepare enough in advance. But this time we finished everything before three o'clock. I'm so hungry. I just want this shoot to be over so that we can eat. Now Joe's doing the photos. At least the shoot is done. Let me get to eat more lunch than dinner. Yeah, usually we have to eat everything. Um, for dinner because it's just so late in the day. But today I actually prepared a lot in advance and so that was out of the way. I actually managed to write a script. There's a world of a difference between not prepared and being prepared. And this time it went a lot smoothly. So yeah, I'm very excited for this taco. So delicious. Honestly, it got like kind of cold and crusty sitting here for so long because we like take a lot of different pictures, but it's still good. Still very good. You guys have to try this recipe, honestly. Even the fresh salsa alone, if you're just looking for a good, easy fresh salsa recipe, you gotta try this one out. So today, you know what's kind of funny? I think last week we were talking about how we used to film on Thursdays. And we're like, we're not gonna film on Thursdays anymore because the lawnmower guy is out running around. You can pick it up from the audio. <laughs> and so today's Friday and we filmed and guess what the lawnmower guy was running around again It's I think it's like our third week in a row with lawnmower sounds in the background so I don't think this one should be so bad. Yeah, I don't think it picked it up that much and then we filmed outside for our intro um, you know the little ditty that I do in the beginning and That took a little bit of time. I mean it wasn't too bad, right? It wasn't bad at all. I think I just a lot more takes than I I personally wanted but this is another collaboration between us and Lee from Six Kids Productions. Remember her? I think I have to do the whole thing again. Okay. This is another collaboration between us and Lee from Six Kids Productions. What? Ugh. I think I have to do the whole thing again. Why? Okay. Lee wanted me to teach her how to make Lee wanted me to teach her how to make a fresh... Like Joe has this thing, like he wants me to practice before I do my whole spiel. And then I don't like practicing and my whole theory is I'm not an actress. So I don't like to learn lines and like memorize it because I feel like I come off really scripted and kind of ungenuine. Then sometimes when I practice, I'm like, yeah, I got it down in the practice session. And then when I actually record it, I'm like, wait, I didn't say that one line I was supposed to say. And then my brain starts working a mile a minute and then I get all tongue tied. But I can see both value in both points. I mean, when you practice, you just have your tongue like be more relaxed and <laughs> <laughs> without, um, I don't know, being flustered or tongue, uh, tongue twisted like me. So. <laughs> I actually took the time to plan out step by step what we're going to shoot first and what order because you know how sometimes I, I tell you that we shoot out of order on purpose because of the way our kitchen is set up. It's hard to kind of move all our camera equipment and the lights from here to over there and then back here and then over there. So we do a lot of, um, I do a kind of like I map it out and I write a script about like when we're going to shoot what. So I'm kind of like the director as well. He does all like the creative angles and stuff, but I, I have to kind of direct the flow because I know the recipe and he doesn't really know anything about cooking. So he, he wouldn't really know how to direct us in the first place. So I kind of figure it out. I write it out. And this time I actually had time because I, I mentally prepared myself. I didn't do much work yesterday except for prepare for this shoot, um, which is kind of um, different. Usually I'm busy editing videos or doing something else while I'm also preparing and that makes me kind of flustered. But this time, since we had such a horrible experience last time, this time we wanted to really be prepared. And so I wrote out step by step when to do what, when to shoot what, what's going to be um, like a voiceover. So I think that helped out a lot. Mm-hmm. It did. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Maybe having Joe eat in front of camera and talk was like too many things. I mean, because we started earlier and ended earlier, that makes it a lot easier. 
Um, I think just footage wise, I think we have more footage than normal. Oh, really? I don't know what, why there is. Maybe just from a lot of steps and stuff, so. This one was but. kind of, um, it's still easy, but there were a lot more components to it, right? I think so. So I think that took up more of the footage of like the, the close up shots and, um, yeah. But overall, I think it went pretty well. Feel better about today? I definitely do. I don't feel tired. Usually I feel so exhausted after a shoot, but I think I was tired beforehand trying to mentally prepare everything and get things ready. And I woke up early and I like prep stuff out physically um, as well as writing notes and stuff. Yeah, usually we have to like skip through lunch through too because it takes so long and we're running out of time so we don't have time to eat lunch. And I think that makes me feel more exhausted too because maybe like our blood sugar is low by the time we finish. Probably. But I guess that's about it. I don't think there was anything, um, which is good because sometimes like our behind the scenes is more like, oh my gosh, this went wrong. This was so hard. <laughs> we were so tired. We didn't expect this. But this is one of those rare days where it was pretty seamless. I mean, yeah, there were rough moments because there always are. But in general, I think this one went much better because I was prepared. So lesson learned for other YouTubers out there, it really pays to pr be prepared. Like be prepared as much as possible. And even though it seems like it's kind of like on the fly, a lot of it is planned out and scripted and, and thought about meticulously. So, I mean, if it looks easy and it looks seamless and looks flawless, then it's then I guess we're doing our job, right? So, yeah, yeah but like I said, the recipe itself is always easy because I like to cook easy stuff. So check it out, chefjulieyoon.com for the printable recipe and go to our other channel, Chef Julian Videos. Um, the recipe is fish tacos with fresh salsa. So, and it was a collaboration again with us and Lee from Six Kids Productions. So if you remember her, she actually collaborated with us for our Easy Shrimp Pad Thai video. And then I did another video based off of that, which was the shrimp and tofu coconut curry. So we had a good time talking to Lee again about on Skype and we collaborated with this whole idea together and so I hope that you really like this, Lee, and I hope you give it a try. And it reminds you of your vacation in California because that was the inspiration. It actually brings me back to life in California a little mm -hmm. bit, right? Yep. Even like the weather today was very California. It was. Um, thankfully, I wasn't sweating to the oldies in this really hot, cooped up kitchen because some days there is super hot in here, especially with these bright lights. I don't know. It's a lot going on. But yeah, so I hope you enjoy it. Give it a try, and if you do, remember to use the hashtag Chef Julie Yu and share it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Also, you could also um, tag probably her at Chef Julie Yu. So you could tag me, or you can use the hashtag Chef Julie Yu. Um, we'll find you. Remember, you can pin it, do whatever, spread the word. Um, so I hope you enjoyed watching our video and also this behind the scenes. And uh, we're gonna continue eating our lunch clean up the place, and probably get back to editing more videos after this. <laughs> the work never ends. It doesn't. I mean, we're not complaining. This is what we signed up for, and this is what we like. It's our passion, but the, the life of a blogger, creative, YouTube people, it's not always as like dreamy and easy or fun as people think. There's a lot of work that goes into in self-discipline. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed everything. So remember to push like, Leave a comment down below and subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. You don't want to bite into a huge chunk of... You didn't get it? Because you don't want to bite into a raw... Oh, gosh. In the marinade. And it also has a higher cooking temperature. You know what the best part of this is? Is it tastes so... It's bursting with, you know what the best part of this is? Just stop it. I forget my substitution. Ready? It's on? My butt? Okay.